All right, additive inverse. Additive inverse. Um, that means that add means plus sign. Inverse means opposite, okay? Uh, uh, pretty much. So whenever um, you have like five, okay? If you want to talk about the additive inverse, that means that you want to add something to it, and we want it to be the opposite of that. So I want it to equal zero when I'm done, all right? So think to yourself, what's the number that's the opposite of five? Uh, seven? Uh, no. Four? Uh, no. A billion? Uh, close. Not close at all, okay? The opposite of five would be negative five, okay? So plus negative five, all right? Because it's like, um, picture if you're, you're digging a hole and you got your shovel and you dig down five feet deep. You dig down five feet deep, all right? And then you've got it, you stand standing, you're like, oh, it's five feet deep. You get out and then you fill it up with five feet worth of dirt. Where is it gonna be? Back to ground level, okay? So the further you dig down, if you dig that same amount back up, it's even. So it's just the same as if you go forward 10 yards, but then you take away 10 yards, you're back at zero, okay? So that's what the additive inverse gets at. Um, no matter which way you go, when equals zero, it's just gonna be sticking a negative in front of one and making the other one positive and then adding them together. Okay, just don't mix it up, put like a minus sign in there because then it'd be neg minus minus, turns to a positive, and that'd be 10. That'd be way wrong, right? Hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, Shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. But you click that. Anyways, I'll wait. <laughs>